Russell. This is how we roll. This is 979, the POX. I was trying to turn my fan off. What? I was trying to turn my fan off. What's up, love? How are you? Fine, 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 man. I'm chilling. I'm chilling at the crib. It's good to see you again, too. I know. Nice seeing you, too. You still look even more cuter than when I seen you in person. You're so sweet. But look, everybody, I got to introduce you to everybody because, y'all, this is Big Jade, and we're about to do this interview right now, and I'm so excited because I think it was maybe, like, last year that I first found your, like, one of your freestyles on Instagram, and it was so hard, and I'm like, where has she been at? Like, what? I'm not getting a chance to... Uh, so for people who don't know from Beaumont, though, right? Yeah, I'm from Beaumont, Texas. Big Money, Texas. What's good? Hey, okay, so tell everybody, like, how long you been actually rapping? Okay, so I've probably been rapping for about four years. It's probably been going on four years now. But I feel like that's when I came out and made, like, a song or whatever, told people I was rapping. But I feel like a year and a half, two years ago, the day I met B-King is the day that I actually start rapping, taking it seriously. Like, at first it was just like a... How you okay, start? everybody, yeah, everybody in my city rapping, we hopping on beats, and I was, like, in a relationship with an older man for about four, five years, so I was disconnected from all my peers and everything, so when I got back, connected with my peers, all my peers was rapping, like, we had Tizo, Tobias, Ace, all of them was rapping, so I just hopped dead in the mix with them, and then when I met B-King, that's when it turned into, okay, this can actually be a career, this actually can be taken seriously, like, I can actually be a rapper, you know? What did you so how did you meet B King? Um, I actually met B King off the post. Like I um did a the baby freestyle, and B King found me from there, and he just started feeding me beats, and I was so fired up because I couldn't believe it. Like I I was fired up. Like at this point, I'm in Beaumont. At this point in time, I wasn't exposed to all the things that B King exposed me to. Now, you know what I'm saying. So I was like, oh shit, we finna get it popping. We got to do this right now. Yeah, you know. So what? So big shout to B King though. So, so okay, what was the first, like, so he found the, the the baby freestyle that you posted, right? What was the first thing that you really saw go crazy for you and you was like, okay, people going to be, they're going to be fucking with me? Um, Piri Poo. Me and B-King did a song called Piri Poo. I heard that one. Um, where I was living in the hood in Park Shadows. It's not an actual, it's not an actual hood. Like, it's not a hood to claim, but it's like, it's Why? a hood. It's, it's government assistance apartments. Mm, okay. Type, type of thing. So, um, yeah. I was living out there in... We did um, Piri Poo where I had all my friends, all my homegirls. They had masks on with ponytails because I love a ponytail and I love a mask. They had masks on the ponytail. And at this point in time, this one Megan was saying, draw the boat, draw the boat, all that. So, shit, I brought the boat to the hood with the girls with the mask on. And we turned up from a BTS video. That shit went crazy. Like, more views than anything I ever got. Um, my cool. daughter went viral before I did. 50 Cent ended up yep. posting her. Look, she's talking about, like, yep. Hey, what's up, Lil? What's up? Look, she wants. She's talking about yup. Hi, cutie. Hi. What's your name? She's like yup. China. China, you're so cute. You looking like you going to Mardi Gras? <laughs> See, we. I took her to Mardi Gras yesterday. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I saw you was eating some crawfish yesterday. Where you? Where'd you get it from? Um, we was at Krabby Daddy. I live in the um in the woodland, so it's some uh, it's somewhere that's around here. It's called Krabby Daddy. Krabby Daddy, and what's you know, I really slept on them. I got my crawfish and was like, why it ain't no juice in here? And what is this and what's going on? But baby, when I, girl, I suck the head, bite the tail, eat the claws. I eat the whole motherfucker. So it was good as fuck. So when and they had a band out there playing Zydeco. I'm from the country and shit, so I like Zydeco music and shit. So it was it was lit. So when did you move to Houston or Woodlands? You know, same thing. Um, From Beaumont. Four months ago. I got signed to Alamo Records and then I moved. Once I got that check, I got the fuck up out of there. What? Well, congratulations on the big sign. Thank you, thank you. That's dope. What made you choose Alamo Records? Like, how did you know that was going to be the right choice for you? Because at the time, um, it really, I was talking to a couple other people or whatever, um, and I just felt like I wanted, I'm not an established artist yet. Like, I, like, at the time, I didn't have crazy streams. I probably wasn't even streaming. I didn't have any, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people get a hit song, and then they sign. <laughs> Oh, you styles and everything, all your stuff. What it is popping? It is, but what I'm saying is, people get signed once they get a hit song. Like how B King had then leave, you then he saw B King been a legend, but he just got signed. So I'm saying it to say I wanted to sign with somebody who I feel like 
if this thing work, they down go back to the drawing board. And if that don't work, we down to go back to the drawing board. I don't want to get shift. So I felt like I wanted to make a decision that was going to give me like longevity in the game and not just like a clout move. Cause I could have signed what I said and he was going to, he was willing to give me double what Alamo gave me. Why yeah. you signed then? I love Austin to death. I love him to death and I love him and Cardi to death. I didn't sign with Austin because a statement that he made would, would be key. They got to start from scratch with me and get my body done. Skirt. We ain't talk, you ain't talked to me about getting my body done. I probably would have wanted to get my body done, but the fact that you ain't talked to me about that first, like, that's if you would have got to know me and talk to me, you would have seen, like, that's not even what I'm what I'm pushing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like hip-hop died when bitches' titties and ass start becoming more important than the music. So I'm not going to do that. Even if I'm not happy with something mm -hmm. in myself, I'm still not going to do it. That's something that I battle with every day. Like, should I get this done? Should I get that done? You know what I'm saying? So I'm still learning how to love myself. So... That's what I want to push. I want to show people that they can love themselves, that you can actually blow and not have to do all that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's something I was struggling with with myself. So I don't want to push that off on other women. Like, yeah, as soon as Jay got some money, as soon as she got some, she went and got her body done. So not everybody sitting back, not happy with themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, I so for me, it just turned me off just because it's just like a, I want to make, I ain't want to make a clout move. Certain what I said would have had the whole city fired up, everybody would fired up, da da da. And I just feel like, I don't really know what, if that would have been the best move for me because Offset is an artist and Cardi is an artist. Everybody still, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, you, you're an artist. Like, I'm signed to a label that got 20, 30 people that I talk to. You know what I'm saying? But I would just be talking to you and in hopes of you posting me that I blow. You just telling people that I'm your artist that I would blow. Like I say, I love them. I was, I was, when I talked to him, I was like, shooken up. Like, I was fired up because I really, really fuck with him. But I feel like career-wise, it wasn't a good move for me, and I don't know why. I prayed on it like I was told to do, and I woke up, and, and something in me said Alamo. And you're looking right the way you are. That's what somebody said in the comments. Big facts. You don't need to do nothing. Nah, I, I'm with you. 100%. You know, so for him to say they got to start from scratch for me, like I was an ugly-ass bitch or something, like, from scratch, we can literally take the lashes and all the hair off, and you literally don't got to start from scratch for me. Don't play with me, but I. Right. <laughs> so wait, are you also, like, is uh, Never Fall Off, is B-King's label? Um, yeah, Never Fall Off. It's 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 a label, it's a family, it's a friendship. I was signed to Never Fall Off, but I signed to Never Fall Off with B King because he was such a real person. He was feeding me raps. I went to I, I mean he was feeding me beats. I went to jail for six months. This man held me down for six months. I was ready to get out and sign because I just wanted to show him loyalty. That you're not gonna take me all the way here and I'm not gonna fuck you out of no situation because I know that if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. Thanks. be where I'm at right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What's for me is for me. You know what I'm saying? We all can say that, but at the same time, he ain't have to do what he did for me. So hold me down for six months while I'm in jail, like, for him not to be like, oh, that motherfucker trouble. Fuck it and move on to the next. He was coming to visitation. He came you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was coming visit me every other weekend. He was accepting phone calls every day. I'm hanging up, calling back, hanging up, calling back. That shit expensive. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. whole six months, I ain't have to worry about what am I going to do when I get out? Because he already had a plan for me. When I got out of jail and got and posted a picture, before I went to jail, I wasn't even getting a 1,000 likes on pictures. Probably five, 600. When I got out of jail, posted a picture, I got 4,000 likes. Nigga, what the fuck you been doing with my page since I've been gone? What did he do? He was just out here pushing and promoting me. So I signed to him out of loyalty. Thanks. When I got signed, my deal with Alamo, he let me go instead of making me sign a 360. Mm -hmm. Because uh, out of loyalty. Like, I ain't cut you out. I ain't. What we got is, is is loyalty. That shit is is that's, so, that's different, and it's very rare too, especially in this industry, because people will be quick to sell it out for some cash or for a big name or whatever like that. So I'm I'm glad to hear that you stay down and you keep it real, and that's honestly honesty and loyalty will take you further than all the rest of the other stuff too. Not Fact. for real. Um. So also let's okay. Let's talk about the music and everything. Your last project that came out in 2019 is it was called B Big Smoke Behind Big J. That was going I was in jail. I was in jail. And you made that whole project in jail? Um, It was, Pretty much. I made it before I went to jail mm -hmm. because B King didn't know, but I kind of knew I was going to go to jail. I had a feeling I was going to go to jail because I was violating, but mm -hmm. I just never said nothing. So I was just like going crazy, just stupid recording because I felt like I'm going to go to jail. And um, he put that album together. He he came up with the names. I didn't have too much to do with it. He went got, he drove to Beaumont. 
found my daughter from wherever he found her at and got her to take the cover and you know what I'm saying did all that he did all that he um he orchestrated that whole um album and he was the one that came got me from jail so when he picked me up and came and got me that's when we listened to it all the way back all the way back to Beaumont and I was like damn that hoe was hard that's so hard. Like y'all's like that. That's a real ass friendship and everything for real. And speaking of your daughter too, your daughter is so cute. Are you do? Are you have to like do what do you call it? Uh, like virtual school learning and stuff, or does she go? Oh to no, school? she go to school now. Okay, you, so you nah, good. She, her bad ass was skipping in my <laughs> face. And see, that's one thing I I can't tolerate. You sitting there supposed to be at school and you skipping. You don't went to the kitchen and that's skipping. You done walked hard. out. You skip. She skipping in my face. It's hard on those kids to sit at that computer all that's day. Why, that's why I sent her back because she had already felt was falling so far behind and I'm I'm here and I'm there and all that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? She already falling so far. And then I'm a sucker. I've been gone for six months. So when I came back, I'm not going to lie. Whatever she wanted, she got. Because I just felt away. You know, I just I just felt away. I've been gone for these six months. Um, You can do what you want to do. You can eat snacks all day, goddamn. So what was the first thing you did when you came back? I ate crawfish. The first thing I did when I came home, my mama had me some crawfish. I, I just want some crawfish. My mouth, I was dreaming about that shit in jail. Ma, I'm the, <laughs> I'm the number one crawfish fan, Jay, for real. Like, I love, do you like the Cajun kind, or have you ever tried, like, the Vietnamese style? Mm-mm. I like, ah! um, get back, mama. I like the garlic. I like the spicy, um, like the garlic, the garlic butter kind. And your family be making it, or you be getting it somewhere, too? No, my mama be making it. My mama can make it. I'm trying to pull up. I'm trying to come get some. I'm like, shit, I can make it. Listen, baby, I eat crawfish. I do this. I'm going to put the oranges in there. I'm going to put the lemons up in there. I'm going to put the garlic up in there. We're going to put the crawfish seeds in there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you hear yeah. It's going to go down. <laughs> it's going down. Look, it's we going live. down. Hey, we live right now. Big Jade, Baby Jade in the mix, 97. <laughs> um, so, okay, back to the music, too. The last project you dropped was in 2019. So what are we going to get next? I know you've been putting out freestyles. Gucci bag, I heard, is hard as well. What's what's coming next? Um, My project is already wrapped up. Um, It was a lot of stuff that had to get cleared. But we looking forward to dropping it, like, April, at the end of April type of... Um, and you already have a name for it, everything? Um, I'm still indecisive. It was going to be called Pressure. I don't know if it's still gonna be called pressure. Why not? I'm not sure. Um, what's wrong with pressure? Cause I feel like you'd like your flow. Nothing wrong with pressure, but I just grow every day and I change. I change every day. Like I know I'm probably gonna change the track list up a couple times because it, it's, I feel like I'm getting harder and harder. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm like like I'm working with better producers. Like I'm working with Chose and EXO. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So it's like yeah, EXO taught me a cool way. You know what I'm saying to record and stuff. Um. DJ chose got me open minded to just taking hooks, and I feel like that's another thing. People not so that's why people get attacked because they not honest about shit. Like I came in this game like, oh, oh, nobody writing for me. Who through through? Yeah, I go hard. Nobody's writing for me. But when you have a friend like B King, you're gonna meet DJ Chose. You know what I'm saying? And when I got a relationship with DJ Chose, he like, hey, yo, just take this hook for me. Da-da-da. I'm not trying to write for you. Just take a hook. I'm a realist. I know that I'm a goddamn lyricist. I'm gonna get on the beat and just rap that motherfucker out and go hard. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a song, you know what I'm saying? I, I have to be programmed and taught how to make a song because I'm a lyricist. I'm going to get on that horn and just break that bitch and kill that bitch every time. You know what I'm saying? But I got people that's helping me, like, okay, we're going to make a song. We're going to orchestrate a song. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like everything is harder now because I'm getting, I'm I'm down to be a team player now. Like, I'm a team player now. Like, I'm not, like, yeah. oh, so, you know what I'm saying, worried about what other people think, like, if you got some fire shit there or some inspiration or anything I can take from it and make it go hard, like, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just down. I just know that this shit is a team sport. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it, it just makes all my shit come out even harder. And you so you got, you working with, I mean, the most fire producers in the game, not even just in Texas, in the game right now. So that's good, too. But look, we are excited, all your fans, especially. Do you, so you don't have an exact date for it yet? I don't got an exact date. And I don't like, my, I hate commitment. My niggas will tell you that. So I hate being committed. I hate being committed to something. I don't want to tell y'all it's a date. You know, come out that date because I got I got commitment issues, man. Oh, well, look, do you have any any collabs on it or is it just you? I got Slim Thug. I got O and B. Hey. Um Love. obviously B King and Queen. Yeah. Um I'm trying to think. I got one more. I got trying one more. Think, trying I'm think. trying to think. We trying to think. We trying to think. We trying to think. We trying to think. 
I got one with Asian. I don't know if I'm putting it on on the project though. Why not? Is it Move B? I don't it? think I'm putting it on the project because we already put that out as a freestyle. And then Keith, I got Keith, I, then Keith, I got Keith. one more feature that I cannot tell y'all about. Hey Keith, Hi. get off. <laughs> Wait, so the one with Asian, it's not on Spotify or nothing? No, like it's not only it's on stream. It's only on YouTube. Yeah, it's just yeah, cause it was just a freestyle. It was really just spur like like Asian just. How did so y'all? Asia just so real because she real and real bitches do real shit. Like when she, it's so many people. I ain't even gonna name drop, but I swear about twenty five people in the industry hit me up. You know what I'm saying? I, when I drop RPM, so, when I was rapping, doing somebody hell. Mm -hmm. So many people hit me up and was like, "You go hard, you go hard," and like no shade, no tea. I'm not trying to be no shade, no tea. But I don't give a fuck about that. I don't give a fuck about y'all telling me I go hard, nigga. Nigga, do a song, nigga. Link up, nigga. You know what I'm saying? If you think I go that hard, you took you, you go. And then it be the hits and the DMs for me. Put it on my post publicly where everybody can see it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So Asia was somebody that I felt like mm -hmm. hit me up and was like, damn, this bitch go hard. Link. Off Instagram? Let's do music. Damn, that's so that's, that's what that was. We ended up being in Atlanta at the same time. And she pulled up real, real, real genuine, real down to earth. She pulled up. She seen me. She looked me up and down and was like, you look cute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We, 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 you know, she, we, we sat there drunk. We went back and forth, did our shit, and shot the video right there in like okay. an hour. On the project. Like a little bonus track. Because I think I want to, I think I want to do something else with all my freestyles. Oh, I feel you. Okay. Okay. Like a freestyle project. Okay. This is a random question I have, and I know your daughter's in there, but does she listen to, do you let her listen to your music? She can't hear it. She hear when I'm writing it. Do, do you, you know if I even get to get to the studio? Do you ever tell her don't say this? She knows she can't say cuss words, but I'm pretty sure when I'm not around, she's cursing her ass off to it. How old is she again? She five. She can't curse in front of me, but I mean, my daughter be rapping. The way my daughter plays, not like most kids. She gonna put on an instrumental, and B King can attest to this. Anybody that come to my house can attest. Me and B King will be out there talking, chopping it up. You know, I'm smoking. We going over ideas, whatever. Two hours later, she's still on instrumentals and it's her breaking that bitch. Your daughter can rap already? I can. I'm a gangster. Just you not no gangster. <laughs> we ain't gonna do that. We ain't gonna do that. You can't let her freestyle right now. Can we, can we get a little taste of the gangster? You want a freestyle channel? Yeah. Let, me let, me let, me put you, let me put you a beat on. Trying to come on with it. I'm excited for this. <laughs> <laughs> We sitting up here putting something on her face. I don't know what she got. This stuff that you bought me. What's that? Okay, you should have waited for me. But she do, she do, she want to do. I'm gonna put it on a whole lot of choppers. She think okay, she was rapping on a whole lot of choppers, and it made me get on a whole lot of choppers beat. But she five, she don't understand that that's not her beat or my beat. She fucked up with me. She think I stole her song. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, what? she tell you every stole my song. She tell, Wait a minute. She she tell everybody that I stole her shit. What, what, when you told me earlier, we were talking a, a couple minutes ago, you said she went viral before you or something? Yeah. She, um, she, 50 Cent posted, she was on an ice cream truck, uh, screaming at, screaming at some little girl, screaming <laughs> at my homegirl daughter saying, give me my money back. I'm dead. So, well, you a star over there in the making, obviously. Oh, and yeah, I, she gonna be, she gonna be, you mean she not gonna, she ain't gonna be. Listen, she gonna be a problem. Five more years, everybody gonna have to go lay that shit down. Ooh, All so them little weak ass little kids they be having up there trying to do that. I'm that mother. I'm that mother. I'm talking about kids and all. You kids <laughs> suck. Y'all kids can get it. Yeah. So are you gonna let her, like, if she wants to really rap, like, you know, now, like, if she could do it now, it don't matter how old she is, right? Yeah, but I just, I just want her to go to school a little bit longer. She five. I I need her her um. I need her um her words to be a little more clear. Mm -hmm. That's it. You ready, Mama? Mm -hmm. Come on, you live. Let's get it. We live. Let's go. Ninety-seven on the box. We got Big J. Come over here. Little time about the kid. Come over here. Come on. Want me to go first? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Look, stop playing. We got China in the building. Hey, hey, hands to the feelings. Hey, show them how we living. Hey, tell my daughter be killing. Feel like a knock. Feel like a knock. I'm gonna do it. Hey, hold up. 
Hey, tell them hold that up, trying to break it out in her face. Hey, no face, no case. Hey. Get it, China. Come on, China. <laughs> oh, she got scared, y'all. She got scared. I think oh, I that's okay. I think I was killing the too hard. <laughs> no, I can tell she hard and she's confident. She got the personality and everything. You got to put yeah, her a song. She, she go at it for hours. She got a, she got a win already that she, um, she be saying something about she, um, she don't need some because she is the wave. She don't need a boat because she the wave or something she be saying. Oh, she be trying to make her some stuff up. I be letting her do her. She was good. Everybody say she was good in the comments. They's feeling it. Go off. Yeah. Go off. Look down. Say get it, China. Go off, China. But look, <laughs> so, more stuff in person, and I'm so excited that you drop in in a month. So then we're gonna have more to talk about and everything. We're gonna make sure we support it over here at the box and run them numbers up. Can you send me some clean versions of whatever the single, whatever you got? I'm gonna send you my email. I'm gonna DM. Yeah, okay. You. I got you. I got the service page. I know. Yeah. China, thank you so much for being a part of the live too. You're still in the show. <laughs> <laughs> and I like your bow too. It's cute. Thanks. You're welcome. Look, I'm gonna let y'all go, but thank you so much, Jay, for tapping in. I'm excited for everything you got coming. The fan base is there. The bars is there. All that. You already know. So just, like, we're going to keep in touch, and we're going to keep going up. Okay. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye.